So the first app you need to download is Self. Um, what Self does is open you a credit builder account and you're able to choose between $25 a month, $35 a month, $48 or $150 a month. And you'll pay that over the next 24 months. And at the end of 24 months, you get what you paid back. The good thing about these payments is it reports to the credit bureau as an on-time payment. So each and every month, you'll get an on-time payment, a positive mark on your credit report. And one more good thing about Self is after three on-time payments, you qualify for their secured um, credit card. So it's automatic qualification. They can trust in you. They see what you what you uh, you're able to do as far as your on-time payments, and they offer you a credit line of whatever you've paid thus far. So next up is kickoff. Kickoff credit is exactly the same as self. You're doing the same thing. I wouldn't. They they also give you the option to pick different plans. I picked a cheaper plan on this one because one of the things that you don't want to do is put yourself into a bad spot where now this credit building action becomes a bill in itself that you can't handle. So I picked a plan that has a lower balance. As you can see, I pay $2 a month on a $20 balance and it shows up on my credit report as a low utilization, on-time payments, a positive mark. And by the way, self and kickoff both are no credit check. Uh, there's no interest. You have a small monthly fee, but we're talking about a minor monthly fee for a big, big credit boost. So next up is a credit line that you can get with Ava where they only allow you to use it for subscriptions. So if you have things like Netflix, Spotify, Hulu, you can put those on this credit line. Now, it has a credit limit, which means you can't spend over this much. That helps keep your credit utilization down, which is really good. And it's very, very good for making sure that you're more responsible with your use of your credit line. Now, I haven't yet used this one because I use another one that I'll show you later in the video. Um, and I don't want to load up. It's, just, it's, it's the exact same thing. Kind of like kickoff is to self. Um, the other one that I use is the same as Ava. So we went over the credit building apps, a couple of credit building apps. Now I want to get into a bank account. This bank is called Sable. It has a focus on building your credit. So for people that's just starting out, you can use this as a bank account to get direct deposits and things like that. One of the bonuses of Sable is they offer a secured credit card. Once you have a certain amount in your account, you can use that to open up a secured credit card. If you're familiar with what a secured credit card is, what secured means is you pay a deposit and then they offer you that as a credit line. Lastly, so Sable has an, a reputation for being one of the quickest to graduate you to a higher credit line. So that's a big bonus. So this next one is a bank account also. It's called Money Lion. They offer cash advances. They offer credit lines. They offer uh, credit building loans. Money Lion also has a connection to the stock market. So you can invest through the app. Um, borrow as I mentioned or just use it as a regular bank account checking in savings like I said I just learned of this one just discovered this one recently and it's already on my top 10 so it's a really really good app as I've seen so far from what I've seen so far um, might be one you want to check out and navigate they offer cash advances if you're somebody that gets a steady paycheck you can get a cash advance after you've 
had the account open for a little bit, had some deposits, you'll get a, you'll get a zero percent APR cash advance up to a thousand dollars. Another bank account here. Another bank account. We're rolling with the bank accounts. This one is called Oxygen. This one is all about cash back. As you can see from the graphic that I posted, you got fast food, gaming, auto, so many cash back opportunities within this app. As you can see, fast food, gaming, gas, auto, maintenance, uh, all kind of opportunities to get cash back. And if you're somebody who looks at cash back as an opportunity to save, this account actually tracks how much cash back you've gotten and you can immediately do what you want with that cash back as far as you know maybe invest it maybe do whatever spend it treat yourself to something next on the list of bank accounts is yada yada functions just like a normal bank account but each purchase you're given an opportunity to win a lottery style pick at the end of the day at the end of the week each purchase gives you a certain amount of tickets the bigger the purchase the more tickets that you're given and each week as you can see you can win up to 10 million dollars every single week by matching using the tickets to match the numbers in the lottery style drawing each and every day, each and every week. So Yada was a lot of fun, especially when I first got my account. I'm making purchases, gathering my tickets, sending referral codes, trying to gather the tickets. And I actually got a, a great return on that, that investment immediately. Most bank accounts, you get 1%, maybe 1% returned on your savings and checkings account. Well, I got about 7% within the first week. It was crazy. And here's the app that I mentioned before that is similar to Ava. This one is called Grow Credit. It does the same thing, exact same way. You have a credit line with a credit limit of about $50. I believe this one is $50. So if you already have subscriptions that you pay with debit, your debit card, or maybe another credit card, you can switch them to this one and you can have those subscriptions charged to this credit card. It'll always be easy to handle for the most part. You have a limit of $50. I put my Pandora, PlayStation Plus, um, what else? I don't have my Netflix, but I put my uh, YouTube Premium. I put my YouTube Premium on there as well. So in short, it's a credit line with a credit limit that allows you to keep your utilization rate low and these payments report to the credit bureaus and last but not least i know you've probably seen these commercials everywhere on social media you have dave and bridget this one is dave dave offers uh, cash advances as long as you connected dave to your bank account dave is able to give you cash advances up to 250 dollars that you will have to pay, I think, the next upcoming Friday or when you get paid. But it's a short, quick advance. Maybe if you need something like a quick gas up or something like that, you'll use this app. But in my honest opinion, Dave is really for if you get paid tomorrow and you need a little cash today. It's not a, a means of income at all. So don't get it twisted at all this is for i get paid tomorrow i maybe i'm going to dinner maybe i need a little bit of gas to to hold me over until tomorrow now dave does have some other features like uh, a savings account you can open with dave but it's nothing compared to bridget bridget is the better app does the same thing it offers those cash advances but it also offers you the credit building features like those apps that we had earlier it also offers you the opportunity to boost your income. There's a boost your income area where you can go click on get extra cash, take surveys to get paid, 
it shows you other ways to make money. So I really like that Dave helps you in a jam. Bridget, however, is going to help you and then sh show you, kind of lead you to the water. Here's how you can boost your income. If you hit the boost your income area, they have take a survey. They have, you know, do delivery, do Instacart, things like that. And that's my top 10 credit building apps and bank accounts. I'll put links to all these apps in my descriptions. Y'all have a good one. Peace.